Good morning, my dear student. This is Ms. Hadi. Today we are going to complete unit seven. What is the name of, my, uh, of our unit? The name of our unit is meeting a dragon. But today we are going to start with the grammar. Lesson one. What is the first lesson? Past simple. We are going to take past simple. Are you ready? Let's start. Past simple action happened in the past. Action happened in the past. Look at the picture. Before you be a young boy, you were, you were, you were what? A baby. So past is something happened in the past. Not in the present, not in the future. Past. How can I use post? We use post, we use the post simple tense to express an action which happened at a specific time in the past and finished. So I use post simple to speak or to express an action which happened in a specific time in the past and finished. And we use with this it, uh, with this tense, with the past simple, yesterday, last year, or understand from the context. Maybe these words help me to understand this is a past simple sentence, or I can understand from the reading, from reading the context. Context, okay? For example, Tom stayed at home last night which means something or action happened in the post last night. Kate worked last Saturday. This is the action happened in what? In post and finished. Okay. Let's see the spelling rules. How can I form the action in post simple? Post simple verb forms are created by adding ed in the end of the verb so the number one i'm going to add ed to the end of the verb to make it a past simple how it will be let's see he wanted to buy a new car this is in the past this is the action in the past and finished she called him on the phone Look, this is the action, or this is the verb called, and I'm putting to the verb what? ED. To mean that this sentence happened in the past and finished. Number two. For verbs ending in E, we add D. So the first rule, we're adding ED if the verb doesn't have E. But if the verb have D, what shall I do? I have to, uh, well, if the verb have E, we shall to put D, like he changed. Look at the change. I have E in the word or in the verb, so I have to put the only D to make it post simple. He changed his clothes. Rule number three. For verbs ending in Y, what shall I do? I'm going to cross Y and put I, E, G. When, if I have before Y a consonant letter, a consonant letter, we have a difference between consonant and vowel. Vowel letters are A, E, I, O, U. So if I have, if I don't have one of these letters, I'm going to cross Y and put I, E, D. Let's see the example. He try. Try here. I'm canceling Y. Y because I have R. It's a consonant letter. So I have to cancel Y and put I, E, D. If I have consonant, vowel, consonant. If I have consonant, vowel, consonant, like a word, stop. Like the verb stop, I have a consonant, vowel, consonant. 
I have to double the last letter. Double the last letter and put ED if I want to form it in a post simple. The car stopped. Why I put another P? Because I have consonant, vowel, and consonant. So I have to double the I have to double P and put E D. If the last letter is X, we don't double the consonant. We don't double the consonants. We are not going to double X. Let's see. Fax. Faxed. Look at this rule. If I have one of these vowels before Y, I'm not going to cross Y. I am going to put E D. Look at the, look at the example. She stay. Look at the stay. I have Y, and before Y, I have I have a vowel letter, so I'm not going to cancel Y to put I E D. I have to put E D only. Look, infinitive, we are going to add ed or d like visit will be visited because the verb doesn't have uh, e at the end. Love, I have e at the end of my verb, so I have to add only d. If the verb ends with y and before y I have a vowel letter like enjoy, before y I have o, I have to put ed only. But if Y, if the verb end with Y and I have consonant before Y, I have to cross Y and put I, E, D, like study. I have Y at the end. Before Y, I have D, it's a consonant letter, so I have to cancel Y and put I, E, D. If the verb has consonant, vowel, consonant, I have to double the last letter, like Stop. T consonant, O vowel, P consonant, so I have to put stop the double P to put ED in the past simple. But I have B consonant, A vowel, T consonant, so I have to double the last letter, only the last letter T to write it two times, double T, and put ED to make it what? To make it um post simple permit m consonant i vowel t consonant so i have to double t to put e d commit double t because i have consonant vowel consonant to put e d in the post simple okay let's go to the negative how can i make a negative in post simple we are going to start with the subject, then we are going to put didn't, did not, then I'm going to put the verb, then complete my sentence. Jim didn't finish his homework. Excuse me, I have here a pause, so where is ed or d or ied? We are not going to put d or ed because we put didn't. If I put did or didn't, I'm going to put the verb in the infinitive, in the infinitive. Look at this casual. I didn't wash the car. You didn't wash the car. He or she didn't wash the car. We did not wash the car. They did not wash the car. How do we form the past simple? How can I make a question from the in the past simple? We are going to start with did, then the subject, then the verb in the infinitive, then complete my sentence. Did you listen to music last night? So in the negative and in the question, I'm going to use did. Did in the question, didn't in the negative. And I'm going to put my verb in the ne in the infinitive. In the infinitive. Let's see an example. Did you wash the car? Did she wash the car? Did he wash the car? 
did they wash the car or did we wash the car? Thank you so much, my dear students. I hope you understand our lesson. See you next time. Goodbye.